This is Joe Rosemarick, and today we're going to tie up a spinner rig, also frequently referred to as a Lindy rig. To do this, we're going to need several things. I have some leader line here. This happens to be 8 pound fluoro, two number six octopus hooks, one metal bead, some glass beads here and here, a swivel, and this is a number four Colorado blade. Now, traditionally, people will go and say that this is a walleye rig, but I find it useful for multi-species fishing. I've caught catfish on this, carp, red horse, drum, crappies, walleye, sauger, the whole mixed bag. So what we'll do is we'll snell on our two hooks here. If you need a video on the details of that, there's one on my channel. There we go. So we go and we wrap around the, the shank of the hook. Now this the length of this leader is going to be dependent on what you're fishing. A good all-purpose length is about three feet. Some people will tie them up as short as two feet. Sometimes you'll see them as long as five feet. Um, tie up several and experiment. You can always make it too long and shorten it. It's a lot harder to make it longer in the water. So there's our first hook, and we'll tie up our second hook here. Same thing, I try and keep about four inches in between my hooks, uh, maybe a little bit more if I've got some really nice big worms. You can tie up this exact same rig for minnows or leeches, you just don't include the second hook. So there's our our snow. Pull that tight. Then we start putting our beads on. Now I like to go and break up consecutive colors of beads. So I'll do two of one color then one of another. You rarely see just a solid colored bait fish in the water. So that's what this is intended to look like. The colors we're using today I got a teal and a pearl are going to be similar to like a a baby pike. I use this a fair amount in the spring after the spawn when you have a bunch of one inch fingerlings of predator fish that would get eaten by larger predator fish. So we get our beads on here. Most commercially available ones are going to be plastic beads. Now I do mine a little bit different. Everything in here is glass and metal. So what that does is on top of the attraction of the color, the spin of the blades, the flash, I'm getting noise from all of these components. So it, it gets you a little bit more attraction, get a little bit bigger distance, or you can work um, more stained water. So here's my stack of beads. I've got 10 on there right now. Then what you do is you take the clevis right here, and you put your line through one side of it and just let that hang and you take your blade and you would put your blade inside the lip of the clevis and normally you would take and just run your line through the opposite side to close that up. I do mine a little bit different. What I do is I put, this is where that metal bead comes in, I put one metal bead in the middle of my clevis and that really really adds to your total noise you have glass on glass you have metal on glass uh, it's something you see a lot in ice fishing rigs but not as much during your open water stuff so you put that bead in and then you go and put the line through the opposite side of your clevis like so and then to cap all this off, I put one more glass bead on the top side of uh, one more glass bead on the top side of the clevis, and then I tie on a swivel. Now that swivel does two things. One, it prevents line twisting out actually using this, and two, it works as a stop. It makes it so that your beads don't slide off in your tackle box and you, you just keep this leader intact. Now you can tie these up as you go on the water but that's going to be a big pain in the tail. 
So what I do is I just tie up a bunch of these as leaders and I just clip them onto the end of my line when I'm actually out in the water. And I'm attaching this swivel here with a trialing knot. If you need to know the details on how to tie that up, I have a video on my channel. Pull that through. And here's our completed rig. We got our swivel on one end. Left, 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 there's the line. We got our stack of beads, we got our blades, and our two hooks. Rig this up with a night crawler, and you're ready to fish. Thanks for watching.